Okay, now we are to the final step, which is checking for errors. And lo and behold, I did one for you. Not really on purpose, but I was stitching the pocket on, and I did not have my straps all pulled out of the way. So it went straight through there, all the way through the strap, all the way through both sets of material. So what I do is go ahead and strip. This is our, point, our time to correct any mistakes we made, so we're going to go ahead and fix it. I need to take the stitches back out in that area. Free the strap. Now I have a gap that would be a hole straight through my pocket. Right here. And that's never a good thing. Don't want a hole in your pocket. Money goes fast enough without. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and restitch that back in. Make sure I know where I'm at. And you want to make sure you do your back stitch to lock it in place and just right back through. And I will tell you that I've been stitching for years and I still make mistakes and I still have to pull stitches. It's part of sewing. It's probably the worst part of sewing, but it's kind of a fact like life. Sometimes you got to fix what you mess up. So I went ahead and fixed that. Now all we would need to do is trim strings. If you leave a raw edge, you're going to have to expect that you are going to get longer strings that come off. And that's not a big deal if that's the style you're going for. You want to make sure your straps are all secure in. None of them are coming out. If when you tug on them, any of them feels loose, make sure that you do another stitch over here. Just reinforce that stitch. And other than that, the apron is done. And you are ready to use it for whatever you want to use it for. We use ours for cooking in the kitchen or doing crafts. Or we have one at Grandma's house that matches. She has one for her and one for the grandkids. So they wear them whenever they go over to Grandma's house. They're hanging on the wall as decoration until the kids come. And then they can always look forward to having their apron to wear with Grandma. So that is how you make an apron.